everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button right there. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. We're back. We're going to do a DIY. We're going to do a thrift flip. It's not a challenge, but... And I'm, you know, it's probably not even something you even care to see anymore because you've probably seen me do it a million times, right? So do you remember the other day I went thrifting and I found this? The 32 credit card holder for me. I want it. I want this. And it says it's genuine leather, yeah? I don't know. Smells like leather. Genuine leather, except it's black. I don't want it to be black. I know why? Because I want it to be this color. <laughs> My brand colors. I want it to be pretty. I want it to be mine. And I want it to be custom. I want it to match my brand color. So I can't do anything about the zipper area. I'm going to tape off this little area, which the driver's license goes in. And then we are going to paint it with the Lumiere Pearlescent. Is this fabric paint? Am I not looking at the leather paint? I need the leather paint. Bummer. I have paint. Hang on. Well, never mind then. You know what we're going to do? Paint it pink. The other color in my brand. Hot to pink. Um, to do this, first I need to tape off that credit card slot, but I also have this, which is the Angelus Leather Deglosser Leather Prep because it's brand new. It is glossy. We're going to use the leather prep on it. We're going to use the hot pink and we're going to make the leather wallet mine. Mine. I want it to look like me, not some old man wallet. I, I don't like to carry a purse, but I still need the one. I want to look pretty. Good old 3M painter's tape. Got my 3M blue painter's tape. I know I'm not I'm not that brand that's like, oh, I have to have my frog tape. Oh. I live in Minnesota. You know what 3M stands for? Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing. Yep. Minnesota. So I'm going to use Minnesota blue painter shape because I am loyal unless somebody pays me not to be <laughs> I'm kidding no I'm not if frog tape came to me and said we're gonna offer you x number of dollars to turn your back on 3m and I'd be like 3m who they don't pay me they won't pay my bills. I'll be more than happy to be loyal. I've never used frog tape. I know there's going to be a hundred people in the comments hating on me. So I got one little strip left here. Frog tape is the best. Don't use any other brand but frog tape. You do you. I use 3M. Mostly because everyone in Minnesota knows somebody who works at 3M, we all know somebody who works at 3M. And 3M has these discounts for employees, and then I get stuff really cheap. Because it's all about the Benjamins, y'all. Like I said, they want to pay my bills. I will go to their brand. But right now, 3M's discount is keeping my brand rolling. Okay, I've got it taped off. I'm going to get some pink rolling on this. Let me grab a brush and get you guys repositioned so you can see what I'm working on. All right. It says to rub in a circular motion to remove the factory finish. So that's what we're going to do. Mm, smells like nail polish remover. Yeah. It's acetone. You can try and call it something else, but we all know the smell. It's acetone. 
I didn't do this, I don't think, to any of the last projects that I did with the Angelus Leather Paint, did I? Maybe I did. I don't remember. It's been a while since we've used the leather paint. I probably don't need this long art brush, but I absolutely adore these brushes. I did grab this one, which is a stiffer bristle brush for, I think, when I get along here. And I don't know why I grabbed this little fluffy round one just in case. <sighs> Angelus Leather Paints. We did a pair of boots for my daughter. And I think because they were already old and worn, I didn't use the deglosser on them. It wasn't really necessary. They come with a little brush in them. I'm not using that, obviously. Love this stuff. I absolutely loved painting with it before. I loved her boots which there was a lot of criticism online about it, which of course there was because it's not everybody's cup of tea, y'all. This won't be everybody's cup of tea either, but you know what? It was for her. That's what she wanted. This is for me. It's what I want. Um, if it's not your thing, don't do it. But you don't have to be all judgy on everybody else, right? Clearly, this is going to take two coats. I can already tell. This will this will be a multi-coat process because I'm trying to cover black with hot pink. One thing's for sure. I'm done with this. We'll know it's mine. <laughs> there won't be another one like it. Okay, we're going to have to let this dry. I could keep picking at it, but the more I pull at it, the more it's pulling it off. So let's let that dry for a minute. And we'll come back to it. It's just pretty already. It's pretty. Definitely going to need this to be pink. Is this side already dry? Yeah. Uh-huh. Apparently, I don't have to wait. I'm just going to go after this side now. The Angelus Leather Paint, I used it on vinyl. So they have an additive where you can use it on vinyl. And that video is up under the DIY channel. Angelus Leather Paint on vinyl did two chairs. They were gorgeous. Gorgeous. And they stayed flexible. So that was the one thing everybody kept asking. It's like, do they stay flexible? They do. They absolutely do. The chair wasn't sticky. It didn't, the paint didn't come off. It stayed flexible. So you can paint leather furniture with the Angelus Leather Paint you have a chair and you're like, I just don't like the color. Paint it. The leather's still in good condition. Just paint it. A pair of shoes. I've had for years. Need a refresh. Paint them. And paint them black again. There's black. They've got black. It's better than a shoe polish. I'll tell you that much. Again, not sponsored. My daughter tells me I'm supposed to say that when I'm bragging on a brand that I love. Not sponsored. But I would like to be if they want to call me. All right. All right. All right. Ooh, it's pink. It's pinky pink. It's pink. 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 Okay, stop picking at it. Stop picking at it. Stop picking. I can't put another coat on yet. It's not dry. So that's one coat. That's the second coat. Paints are amazing. I have a pair of tennis shoes that I'm probably going to do this to as well. Because like any tennis shoes that I like that have my colors on them, I can't afford them. And they're not good for my feet. So now I'm going to probably grab my New Balance and just paint them up. Make them my colors. Because I can. <laughs> 
That's like the best reason why, right? Why would you do that? Because I can. I can do it and I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna set this over this bottle over here to dry. So I just opened it up and like propped it up onto a bottle so that it has a spot to dry. And I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna come back and do a few more coats. Several TikToks later, it is tacky. It's not quite dry. I'm just going to reshake this up just to make sure we're all good to go. And I'm going to use my stiff bristle brush because I washed the other one and I don't want to wa I don't want to water down the paint. So if the brush is wet, I won't use it for this. that dry. All right, it's time to pull the tape. I love pulling tape. I can't believe the tape is like being a pain in my butt. Oh, boom. There it is. That is my new wallet. <sighs> Fruity and pink. Pink and black. So now I am all brand colored up and ready to go. It's aesthetic, as Victoria would say. Victoria and her ilk would say. It probably needs to dry overnight. It's dry to the touch right now, but I don't want to do too much to it just to let it let it cure. But this is so much better than a black wallet for me. Um, it's going to be my brand colors. Hot pink. I would have loved the blue. Maybe I'll repaint it later when I find the blue. Anyway. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you haven't yet gotten one of your happy junket shirts, don't forget to click the links below. It supports me and the channel, and I appreciate everybody who's gotten theirs. Plus, you find your people when you wear it. If you would like to send me a thrift flip challenge like this, you can do that as well. Um, you can send it to the P.O. Box or anything else you want to send me. Uh, you can send it to the P.O. Box, so there's just no creepy mail. All right? If you want to join our Vintage Reseller Mastermind group, you can do that. Uh, and if you'd like to send me a coffee, it's like Patreon without the monthly commitment. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'! We'll see you later. Bye! Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week. DIY tutorials, and of course, more Junkin' videos.